and I've completely forgotten all of it. <laughs> so anyway, it is just about our story, so I should be able to talk a little bit, but the picture you see up there, um, well actually, uh, the coaches out here, you know, my fitness journey is probably not unlike most of yours. I had this particular aha moment, you know, that I knew I needed to do something, but it was more like a, oh my God, what have I done? What have I let myself, you know, get to? And so before that moment though, uh, what had happened was, um, I, was a, I was an athlete in high school and college, like a lot of people are, and then once you graduate college, you go to a job, and I was on my feet, and I did that job for about three years. And then all in the exact same month, I was promoted to a desk job, my wife and I bought a house, and I blew out my knee. So I tore my ACL. So the combination of you know, the stress of all that, we hadn't been married yet, so we're worried about, not worried, but we're, we're stressing out about you know, the whole marriage thing, and then you know, buying a house, and I'm in a new job, I'm sitting down, so all I did was eat food, and I couldn't do anything because my knee was all messed up. So later on, I got the knee surgery, and that's the worst part, right? Injuring your knee is one thing, but sitting through the six months of recovery it takes to repair your ACL is one is just a complete other thing. So anyway, I put on a solid 35 pounds, I think, in not that much time at all, like six, seven months of just plowing food. Because you know, I was an athlete, like, oh, my metabolism will stay up forever. It, it doesn't work like that <laughs> at all. <laughs> it does not. So anyway, uh, what happened was I realized I needed to make a change. And that aha moment came one morning. Ironically enough, I was getting dressed for work. I had to wear nice clothes. So I'm sitting in, my, sitting in a chair trying to tie my shoes. And so I'm bent over, of course. <laughs> and I'm like stressing to you know tie my shoes, like all the blood rushing to my head, and I sit back up and like <sighs> I had to take a breath because I'm like leaning on my stomach. This is ridiculous, you know. I'm having a, a struggle, you know, trying to tie my shoes. So that that point, I knew I had to do something. So um, I had known a little bit about Beachbody and P90X because that's what everybody kind of heard about in the beginning was P90X. I had done P90X before, but then uh, about this time is when P90X3 came out. So um, I had started P90X3 and I had some good, really good results with that. And that picture on, your, on the left there was about 10 years ago. So this journey of you know, gaining weight and losing weight went on for a solid 10 years. And so I was finally sick of doing that. And what I did in November of 2015 was I signed up for a Tough Mudder. Anybody ever done a Tough Mudder in here? Yes. I highly recommend it. You guys should do it. It will challenge you mentally, physically, and it's a great way to build you know, team camaraderie and all that, especially with your team. If you're, if you're a coach and you have a team, do that with them. It's wonderful. But anyway. You better get in shape for a Tough Mudder. So what I did is um, I wanted to do Insanity Max 30. And all at the same time, um, I had been drinking Shakeology already, so the, my upline coach, who I didn't know, contacted me. She's like, hey, how would you like to get that at a discount? I said, yeah, sure, why not? And um, I was just, I just signed up to do coaching just for the discount. And then after a while, I started talking to my wife about it. And she was you know, kind of pushing me to do it more than I wanted to do it. I was like, OK, you know, I'll do it. So. I get signed up uh, for coaching. I did Insanity Max 30, and I lost, um, I think, 19 pounds. And after that, you know, I, I continued to lose more. And then that picture there is actually a year, actually just a few months ago. And that was just to show. I put it on Facebook to show um, it's just as difficult to maintain your weight loss as it is to do the weight loss. So I wanted to show how important it is to maintain it, um, you know, after you hit your initial um, transformational goals. So that was really my story. I started my team. Um, I signed up my wife you know a little while after there and um, it's been going you know really great and for the people who are brand new coaches you know backing up a little bit when Liz Blini talked to me and said hey you want to do this she's like yeah I just want you to go up there and talk about your transformation and you know what Beachbody can do for you or what it has done for you and the one thing I can say that Beachbody has done for me is is this you know mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I was here a year ago I was one of you guys in the crowd and now I'm being asked to come up here and speak at a Super Saturday so it's instilled a whole bunch of confidence you know, within me. And confidence, self-confidence is a wonderful thing. And it's something that you build through your personal development and you know, getting yourself out there and really getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. It's one of my new favorite sayings and it is a great one because nothing special or exciting ever happens when you're in your comfort zone. Okay, so reach outside your comfort zone. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much my story. And now I wanna hand it over to my wife Liz who has, I think, an even better story. But I'll let her speak Aww. now. Aww. <laughs> I love that he ended with self-confidence because I am nervous as hell right now. <laughs> um, so if you see me shaking, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, so actually kind of a funny story with being asked to speak today. I was out shopping. I was down at the outlets in Lodi. I was in the Under Armour store down there because uh, obviously we all probably have this same addiction with workout clothing. <laughs> um, so 
so I'm texting Josh and I'm saying, okay, what do you want me to look for you for? And he says, oh, I need socks and underwear. <laughs> okay. So I'm in the Under Armour car store in the men's underwear section. And he sends me another text and I'm looking, okay, what else does he want me to look for? And it says, so Liv Bellini just asked us if we would speak at Super Saturday. And I know why in the middle of the men's underwear section of Under Armour said, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so if I wasn't already out of place, now everybody's looking at me in, in the men's section, underwear section of Under Armour. So, I literally got a text that said shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First I said it, then I wrote it. Um, but anyway, so my story really isn't much different than a lot of people's story. I'm a wife, a mom, um, I have a full-time career as a research scientist, which is extremely demanding. So really, I just kind of was doing everything. I was doing what everybody kind of expected me to do as a woman, especially. And so I got to, look at me, I'm shaking. <sighs> I got to a point where those things were the only thing that was important to me. My, I wasn't important myself. Uh, Taking care of myself was not important anymore. And that, and I had come to terms with that, and I was okay with that, because my kids were happy, my husband was happy, my coworkers were happy. Um, and then we took that picture in November of 2015. Um, that actually was a, our brand new house that we just bought, so everybody knows how stressful that is. Um, so kind of on top of that, I said, let's take a family photo in front of our new house for our Christmas card. So like a lot of moms, you're usually behind the camera, not in front of it. So we took that picture and I got the cards in the mail. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna send these out. And I look at the card and I'm like, holy crap. Like, oh my God, what did I do to myself? Like, oh. And now all my friends and family are gonna see it because I'm sending this card out. So that to me, and that was right around the time where he had signed up for the Tough Mudder and he was really starting to get into fitness. So it kind of was a little bit of a light bulb moment, but then of course the holidays happened and so again, just I put myself on the back burner. Well, at the beginning of the year with New Year's resolutions, our company holds a weight loss challenge every year. And we actually would sign up for it, usually just to like drop the couple pounds that we gained over the holidays. Well, this year, he didn't ask me to join. And not, not to be rude or mean, but he was already, he was doing his thing, he was, he was losing weight, looking great. So it actually took me a lot of nerve to ask my own husband to join me in a weight loss challenge. And of course he said, yes, I'm gonna support you. <laughs> so he did, and he had just started coaching and was doing Insanity Max 30 and was doing great. So I said, well, I need to do something a little bit more structured. So we had P90X3, so I started that. And it was going fine. I wasn't drinking Shakeology, I was kind of just like, yeah, shake, like whatever, you know, nobody, who needs that? And then I started drinking his Shakeology, and I was like, wow, this stuff tastes really good, and it gives me a ton of energy. Don't touch my shake. Yeah. <laughs> now we have our separate containers. Don't touch mine, don't touch his. Um, so he, uh, he had mentioned this coaching thing, and I was like, you need to do that. You are meant for that. You are a positive person. Love fitness, you need to do that. So he, I think, was just, like shocked that I was like, 100% supported him. But he started doing that, and then he start, started talking about, well, you know, for me to be successful, I need coaches under me. Do you wanna, I'm gonna have you sign up under me. I'm like, whoa there, buddy. Like, what are you talking about? I, I didn't sign up for that. But then, you know, I realized, I need this too. I need, I need Shakeology, I need a fitness program. So right around that time, 22 Minute Hardcore was coming out. And I saw, I heard 22 minutes and I was like, so <laughs> that is all me. So I bought the challenge pack, signed up as a coach, uh, not to really work the business, but just, just to get the discount on the uh, Shakeology. And I went through the eight weeks of uh, 22 minute hardcore. During that program, I lost uh, about 15 pounds, uh, which is pretty good, right? You know? Yeah. Um, but then it just didn't stop. Like what drew me in was the community, the challenge groups, the continued motivation and support and accountability. And it wasn't like make you feel guilty accountability. It was, I, you are super motivating me to be accountable. So it just kind of really drew me in. So I continued, um, I did another round of 22 minute hardcore, did quarter force when that came out. It's just kind of been this cycle and it doesn't feel like I'm just doing a program to just do a program. I'm doing it for myself and for my family. So all together, I've lost about 45 pounds. Wow. Yeah. I've kept it off, and like Josh
Josh said, that's really uh, the hardest part for a lot of people, um, especially as we get older and we still feel like we have that, you know, college age mentality. <laughs> um, you know, it just kind of goes away, especially after having kids. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. And then as I continue to um, be in Josh's challenge groups, I really enjoy uh, encouraging other people. People were coming up to me asking what I was doing to get fit and uh, it just kind of came natural. Like this coaching thing <coughs> isn't a job. It's just sharing what you've learned with other people um, and being a positive influence in them. So, so we both are um, active coaches and have a great team already and that's our story. Yay! <laughs> I promise I'd end with you know telling the new coaches one thing. Um, so my year anniversary of these Super Saturdays, the first one that I went to, Josh Fence was speaking, and he said something that I have not forgotten, and that was, commit to being here a year from now. You know, if this is your first one, be here next year. You know, all that um, the commitment that you, the commitment, the consistency of working in your business. I mean, it will happen. Just keep it going. You're going to go through your highs and your lows of your business. That happens every day. But just commit to being here a year from now, and you guys will make it. Woo!